sure. We're going to continue to keep it light here and talk some gardening. We are both good. Green thumbs. Green thumbs, <laughs> yes. You love your flowers and your garden <laughs> looks great, but it's time for fall. And while the cooler weather means the end of gardening season for some, now is a good time to get a jump on next year already with some new shrubs and trees. See, that's some really good advice. So getting native plants, which are from our area, is usually the best way to go. So for more information on an upcoming sale and what to do and what not to do <laughs> when it comes to fall cleanup, we are joined by Cynthia Harn. She is the executive director of the Nature Foundation of Will County. Welcome to the Stream Team Hour of Power, Cynthia. How are you doing tonight? I'm great and so happy to be here. Thank you for this opportunity. We like to call this a lesson learning hour. So let's start. Yes. <laughs> let's start with why is it a good time to plant now? Great. Um, you know, even though our temperatures are starting to cool, um, soil temperatures are still warm enough to allow um, newly planted trees and shrubs to get partially established before winter really sets in. Um, roots are still growing, and when you get them into the ground this fall, you're going to give them uh, give them a head start on the growing season next spring and summer. So the added benefit is that you may not have to water them nearly as much as you would if you planted them in the spring or in the warmer summer months. And planting in the fall also reduces stress on the trees and shrubs because our temperatures are cooler. So it's a good time to plant. Can she hear me? Oh, there we go. Can I can I ask you about mums? Because I know Cheryl, <laughs> she's got her mums going, yes. right? You, did planted you, you, them yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now is also a good time, Cynthia, to plant them. I'm seeing them at at, at various nurseries. Mm -hmm. We have not done ours yeah. yet. Grocery stores. Right. Right. Yeah. What's your advice on mums right now? Uh, it is the time to plant them. They're out and available at your garden centers and pretty much every every place you go, you can get some mums. And they'd be um, and okay. They certainly add beautiful fall color. Mm -hmm. uh, for a frost, they, they can handle frost. They can. They're strong and sturdy. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. They so sure let's can. let's talk about Cynthia, the native plants. How important that is for all of us here. Sure. Um, you know, native plants are really essential to healthy ecosystems. And, you know, we've heard reports in the news about declines in the numbers of butterflies and pollinators and other insects and songbirds. So really the ability of our natural environment to support these animals is decreasing. And just like us, animals need good quality food, clean water, clean air, and a place to live and raise their young. So when you plant native mm. trees and shrubs and other native plants in your landscape, what you're really doing is you're beginning to reconstruct and heal damaged food webs. So just a quick example, like a mature white oak tree will support the life cycle of over 500 species of butterfly and moth caterpillars. Wow. Mm. And caterpillars are really important to the food web, especially for birds, because baby birds are really raised on caterpillars. So when you don't have enough native plants to support caterpillars, you're not gonna get enough, you know, you're not gonna get a good population of monarch butterflies, and you're actually gonna end up with less baby birds and adult birds, which is what we see happening. Um, and this is just one small example of a complex set of interactions and relationships between plants and animals that have been co-evolving for thousands of years. I love and, a beautiful oak. They, they oh, are such yeah. beautiful trees. Do you have a favorite native? I mean, is there one that you <laughs> uh, particularly like or that you would tell our viewers tonight, this is one that I think is really nice? Um, you know, I have so many favorites. If you truly want to make an impact in your yard, plant an oak tree. They have a tremendous impact. And then on the shrubs, um, there's so many different um, options and varieties, but I really like, um, I like hazelnuts, um, American hazelnuts. I like witch hazel. Um, yeah, those are two of my favorites. And then some of the viburnums are really nice too. See, I know Rob and his wife, Wendy, they plant a lot of gardening. So you get the tomatoes and you get the yes, spices. Right, oh, habaneros um, and, and then uh, your, yeah, your parsley, your rosemary. But this is so important. So you guys have, can do an oak tree maybe in We the have, backyard, so there's or? one, yeah, there's one between us and our neighbors and it is beautiful. You can tell it was planted many, many years ago okay, because yeah. Cynthia, they, I mean, they, they, they can get really old. I mean, they're really nice. Yeah, they and they just and make incidentally, 
when you do, um, if you're a vegetable gardener, planting native plants will bring more pollinators to your garden and your vegetable yield will improve. Yes, for right. sure. Uh, you have an upcoming sale we should talk about real quick. Yeah, we do. Our autumn native train shrub sale, the online sale is going on right now and that will end tomorrow at 6 p.m. So you can still place your order and pick up trees and shrubs on Saturday, October 8th between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. at Isle Alakash Museum in Romeoville. That same day on October 8th, we're gonna have a pop-up sale with more trees and shrubs. So if you missed the online sale or you didn't get a chance, you can still come on out early and shop for native trees and shrubs. And we're gonna have some incredibly knowledgeable volunteers and forest preserve staff there to help you pick out your trees and shrubs and answer questions about native plants. So, so I'd rather do the pop-up because you get to feel it, smell it, yeah. touch it in person. But when pick you do yours. it online, yeah. it gets delivered to you, Cynthia? You still have to pick it up. Oh, you still have to pick it yeah. up. Okay. Yeah. Now, Wait, is, one last question. Oh, you want to ask about the garden well, I was going to ask about Florida, too. Oh, like, go ahead. Is, okay. is there any effect on all of the storm damage on that coast going to affect any of our flowers and shrubberies and anything that might be coming in this direction? It probably won't. It, it appears to be tracking up the East Coast more. I mean, we may see some additional rain out of it, uh, which actually we could use right now. No, um, I mean I, the, the products, you know, the shrubberies. Oh, and the, no. Okay. No, not right. at all. Those are grown locally. They're grown in the Chicagoland okay, area. Okay, yeah, that's oh, right. Nice, yeah. nice. Like oh, uh, one last yeah. question. So we talked about uh, my garden, which has done well this one. My <laughs> yes. wife's tomatoes are just, <laughs> But what, <laughs> we got to clean them up, right? The right. flower beds. And uh, what is your advice on, on cleaning up those flower beds and gardens as we enter fall and winter season? Yeah. Um, you know, my advice is to be really gentle with your cleanup. So a lot of mm. the, the pollinators, the butterflies and the moths and insects, they actually overwinter in the dead plant material and the leaf litter. So if you need to clean up a little bit, just move it to a spot where you don't mind looking at it, but try not to burn or shred or bag up your leaves and plant material because there's actually things living in there and they're gonna overwinter. Um, in your yard and hopefully complete their life cycle next year. Oh, so man. if we can kind of be gentle yeah. and on our gardens clean up, that's a good thing. And Those somewhere. monarch butterflies are beautiful, beautiful and right? And it decomposes some of that material yeah. and it helps with the soil and it's, it's great Clean up is tough. Yeah, oh, thanks, <laughs> for right. thanks for chatting with us tonight, Cynthia. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, we learned you a lot. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, we want to just reiterate about the sale that's coming up on Saturday, October 8th. It's starts at 9 in the morning at the Isle a la Cache Museum in Romeoville. That's on Romeoville Road. We will post all of this information on abc7chicago.com on the website so you can make sure. What a peaceful yeah. picture that is looking yeah. at this. Cynthia the Harn, executive director yeah. of the Nature Foundation of Will County. So hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.